Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming and another video for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Title update 1.3.1 is here and that means new content, new bug fixes, new abilities, all sorts of good stuff. If you guys want a preview of what to expect, you can obviously check out the patch notes or check out our quick video that we released the other day. But here and now, I wanna talk about everything River Raids. That's right, the second installment of free River Raid content was added into the game. And shockingly, they added quite a bit more, not necessarily changing up the formula of the River Raids, but adding more content into this free update. There are a ton of weapons specifically up for grabs here. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to spend money on all of the different kits and things like that, and you're looking for free weapons to grab a hold of, this is definitely the title update for you. Now, I do want to kick this off by saying it is a bit of a grind. The River Raids the first time around was a bit of a grind. We even said so in one of our videos. But this time around, it's doubly so because you have the traditional River Raids content. And on top of that, you've got this Champions content. So it's kind of like a double whammy when it comes to content. You're going to be putting more time into it, but you're also going to be getting more out of it. Now, just like the previous River Raids, there are new rivers that players are going to have to explore. And as such, you do one at a time, you unlock the quest or the clues to get the next one, and so on and so forth until you have all three of the rivers unlocked. I do want to point out that my game was initially bugged and I wasn't able to get to the second river, and I bet a few of you are going to run into this issue as well. The clue that you need to unlock the second river is found in Wicker Grove. This is in the northwest part of the map, but for me, it wasn't there. No matter where I went, no matter what tunnel I went down, I couldn't find it. The way I kind of reset this to get the game to realize, oh, there's supposed to be a clue here, I actually went out of River Raids, went back into them, went out of them, and eventually it kind of refreshes. And once you see that that particular camp is repopulated with enemies, you know you've kind of reset the system so that you can try again. And sure enough, the second time I went into the Wicker Court, once everything was reset, I was able to pick up the clue. After that, I didn't have any more problems, but I do want to point out, just like the St. George set back when the first River Raids came out, you are going to be able to get a brand new set of armor, the Lug set. This is a legendary Celtic set, I believe. I don't know the mythos behind it, but just so everybody knows, you have to look at military targets. If you're going to like farmsteads and little encampments, you're not going to be able to find these items. They are spread across each of the rivers. You're looking at the military installments. And just like the first river raids, you're gonna to need to find two pieces on the first river. And then I believe you get the three pieces on the second river. That third river is for something else. I don't wanna spoil anything for you guys, but just know to find the lug set, you need to go to the military encampments. I also want to tell you guys this, if you want to do this with Jams Viking, you absolutely need to upgrade your Jams Viking Hall. Now, I think I started the River Raids update number two here with a level two Jams Viking Hall. Eventually, I got it upgraded to that level five because, oh my gosh, my Jams Viking were just dying left and right, and I needed to give them a kick in the pants because I needed to recruit higher level Jams Viking, and by upgrading my hall, I was able to do that. With level ones and twos in your party, especially on these three rivers, they are gonna die so often, you're not gonna be able to open up all of those doors to claim more of the supplies and the items. It's just a huge hassle. So do yourself a favor, if you have any foreign supplies lying around, upgrade your Yams Viking Hall, priority numero uno, and then get into the mix here. If you're coming in fresh, maybe you haven't played Assassin's Creed Valhalla in a hot minute, you'll be pleasantly surprised to know that there are three new abilities that players can find in all of the River Raid content, totally free again. You've got Percussion Arrow, Precision Axe Throw, and Spitting Harpoon. And I really like all three of these. I think they did a good job. Precision Axe Throw is awesome. It allows you to chunk down a full bar of stamina as long as you can complete the little mini game there. Spitting Harpoon is just a fun little ability. It's not great. It doesn't have as much of a knockback as I thought it would, and enemies can kind of sneak in there and take a free swing at you, and it stops the animation. It, it's not a perfect ability. And the final one is Percussion Arrow. And I really like this one, especially if you're a ranged sentry player and you want to take out armored targets or shielded targets, this works really well for knocking them off their guard, definitely chips away at their stun damage, and allows you just an opening to get in there, maybe with another arrow or a melee attack. All three abilities are pretty good. You can get them as part of this title update 1.3.1. And as always, we wanted to put together a quick map for you guys so you could see exactly where to find them. It's spread across the three rivers, one on each river. So you're going to have to do a little bit of legwork, but eventually you will be able to pick them all up. 
Finally, I want to talk about the weapons. This was the thing I was most pleasantly surprised at because Ubisoft actually threw a number of weapons at us in a free update. They need to be doing this more often because it's great being able to track down these weapons that are just so important to the gameplay in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so more of this, please. That's kind of the bottom line here. But the thing that's going to be different for players this time around with the River Raids is that once you've done the main quest, once you've gotten your lug set and you're thinking it's going to be the end, you actually have this next step, and it's this series of champions that you have to go find. And there's one on each river, which equates to one new item on each river. So you're going to get a spear at the end of the lug set. That's part of the lug quest line. But then you're going to have to track down each of these champions on each of the three rivers and claim their weapon. And these boss fights are actually pretty good. They're usually flanked by a bodyguard or two. In one case, it's a brother and sister. You fight them and you claim their weapon. That's kind of like their ancestral blade passed down through legacy and whatnot. But it's pretty cool because it's free. It's a little bit interesting. It's a little bit different than, you know, the standard copy paste that we're used to with Assassin's Creed. And the weapons, while they're not perfect, they're great and they're free. And this includes Ulfbert's sword, and that is a one-handed weapon. It is the second and currently the only free one-handed sword that players can get in the game, and it's okay. It gives you an increase to critical chance and critical damage after a parry. This is a five-second duration and gives you a plus 15 to both your crit chance and your crit damage. You can get this weapon right now. I know a lot of players didn't get the Siege of Paris. I totally get that, but you can do the river raids. You can grind out the content and then you can pick up this weapon. Maybe you're planning on getting the collector's edition down the line or like the total package when everything's on sale, but now you can pick up this weapon and there's no way to shortcut it, guys. You're gonna have to go do the quest line on the river raids. Then you're gonna have to go do the champions and eventually you will claim each of these weapons. And again, I wanted to show you guys a map of where you can find each of the champions. If you don't want to know their locations, that's fine. Just turn away, pause it, skip, whatever you want to do. But it's kind of weird. The game says that you need to go find them at different military encampments on each of the rivers and that the defenses would be higher around them. It didn't really make sense to me. I basically ended up just wandering around, going back to the places that I thought they would be at. And two out of the three, I was right. The third one, I had to you know, kind of squirrel around a bit, but eventually I found them, so I wanted to put together another map for you guys so you can see. Really easy to find them, go in there, kill all the enemies. I actually went in solo most of the time because I didn't want to do a full raid, I didn't want to kill everybody again because it just takes so long. So you can go in solo, just trigger the mini event, and then have at it, kill the champions, and claim their weapons. In terms of the river raids, I really hope this is it. I hope we don't see any more updates to this because I don't want more of the same. And with our next DLC, probably taking us to Muspelheim or somewhere mystical. I doubt we're gonna see an update to this anytime soon. So if you guys just wanna grind it out, get your gear, I do not think we're gonna get more River Raid content. So this is kind of the end all be all and I'm okay with that. The River Raids were fun, uh, very grindy. They could have done so much more with it as we've talked about in previous videos, but at least they are throwing a lot more shiny items at us and all for free and you can't beat that. I know you guys don't like spending the money. I totally understand. But now you can get out there, you can go farm for some free items, and as always, if you have any questions about finding any of these items, any of the abilities, or having trouble with the champion, please let us know in the comments section. We do our best each and every day to answer as many questions as we can. We'd love to help you guys out, and even better, if you want to join us on Discord, we've got a great community of around 7,000 members with a special section dedicated to Assassin's Creed. You can ping me anytime, I'm always happy to help out, and that link, of course, is in the description below. Finally, guys, if you like our channel, if you like everything we're doing here at Legacy Gaming and you want to help us out even more, you can now do so by becoming a member. For just a couple bucks, I'm talking one, two dollars, you can support the channel, support what Livid and I are trying to do here, and help build a better community. Check out that join button below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.